Ladies and gentlemen, Roselli Gaiman presents the one, the only, Astronia! Hello folks and welcome back. Yes, you're with me, Zelly, and we are here with our A to Z in the year 2020 of Astroneer showing you the best ways to play uh, with all those tips and tricks. And I'm joined by my good friend, Reginald. <laughs> Reginald's in a box. We boxed them up last time. We are here at our new home as we showed you last time the best way to pack up your base and get moving around the Siths of Silver. And we've chose to come to a gateway. And I'm also joined by my best friend, Jack. Jack! Where are you, buddy? Here he is. How you doing, Jack? <laughs> Jack's happy. So we moved here in our last episode and we are ready to put down our new base. And what are we doing in this particular episode? Well, it's time to make use of the entire planet. Yes, we're going to be going through all of those cave levels to gain access to all of those resources. Now, we showed you last time the best ways to get graphite. There's three different ways. One was in the soil centrifuge. Then the trade platform and then go and find it on the surface and the best way to find it was on the surface the second best way was trading for it and then the third is the soil centrifuge given the least amount of return for what you put in now we can find this stuff in better biomes on this planet and one of them is a magical place where we're going to take you tonight yes we are taking you to the mushroom biome one of my favorite places in the entire solar system so, uh, Reginald, are you ready to come out yet? What? You're happy being a box? No. No, get out of the box. Come say hello to the people. Right, get out. <laughs> there he is, Reginald, you little tyke. Right, Jack, are we ready? We're going to unload our rover here, our nice rover train with all our base stuff, and we're going to put it up here on the geometric triptych gateway. Ooh, so nice, so special. First things first, we're going to need to get onto the top. So let's make a small little ramp. And then... There we go. No, it needs to be a bit, a bit more. There we go. That'll do. Whoop. And uh, towards the end of the episode, I'm going to try and get True Flat for you. So we can show you how to do it in Adventure Mode. Because it is available really easy in Creative Mode with that True Flat block. That Leveling block or Terrain Anchor. So uh, here we are. We've got all our stuff. Uh, <laughs> one of our buggies is full of repackages. Now I did say, if you leave the game, we haven't left the game since the last episode. We're recording back to back. Uh, so they haven't, uh, they haven't detached, but yeah, just be aware that might happen. Right. Okay. So we've got our stuff here let's have a look. We've got our shredder. We've got our chemistry, sorry, our, uh, research chamber. I have to look at it then. Uh, we've got our atmospheric condenser. We've got our large printer. We've got our chemistry lab. Uh, I'm going to die from lack of oxygen. <laughs> Whew, that was lucky. Uh, we need to find our oxygenator. We need to get, uh, uh, we need to get that put down. Uh, we've got our smelter. We've got our soil centrifuge. And this last one should be the trade platform. Yes, it is. So we got that there. Let's throw that away. And let's look at getting our platforms down. Uh, Jack, can you find the oxygenator so we can stay alive a little bit? So let's start unpacking all of our storages. Sorry, our platforms. There's the oxygenator. Thank you very much, Jack. That's going to keep us alive. Uh, we don't need the buggy. Let's throw that down there. Give this a rotation. Uh, let's open these up. So we're going to put these around the center. 
of this gateway. Now, we're not going to activate the gateway just yet. We are probably going to get near to the core, but we're not going to go to the core just yet. And I think in the next episode, we're going to unlock the gateway and unlock the core. So Jack's just putting those modules on there. That's the only module that doesn't need a base. There we go. Right. So let's let's get them all unpacked. We'll take that off. Throw that down there. We don't really have much else. Reginald, get off the rover. Oh no, you, you stay there. You stay there. So we've got our, our shuttles there as well. Let's just move our rover. There we go, rover moved. I'm going to have to take two sneezes out. Now it's time to plan our base. So let's put that on there, unpack that, unpack that, unpack that, and that, and that. Uh, this, and this. And there we go. Okay. So now we just need to... <laughs> <laughs> we need to just kind of sort this out a bit because it's a bit messy. So we're going to keep these on the outside. There we go. And we'll have it so it's focused on the center. We'll have the oxygenator just slightly off. There we go. We'll put that one there. We'll put our soil centrifuge right there. We'll put our smelter there. Connect those together. Our chemistry lab next to the smelter. Chemistry lab there. In fact, let's make that more central. Uh, uh. In fact, we could probably put, no, we won't put it up the top. There we go. So we'll have this so it's it's a lot more central. Right, we'll have our chemistry lab and our atmospheric condenser together. There we go. Uh, next, we'll probably put down... Our research chamber. Oh, there we go. Uh, there we go, it's nice and level. And then on this side, we will have our shredder and trade platform so we'll put our shredder here just need to make sure that we have storage otherwise it's going to poop it out we might lose it underneath the gateway so we we'll put that here num, 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 num. there we go nice in fact we'll put that put that there put that there out of the way okay so the only thing that we need is our printers, and what we'll do is we'll probably put our printers down here, out the way. So let's just set all our printers down here. Let's put that there. Our oxygenator, connect that up, and then we'll have our printers down here. Connect that to there. Lovely. Turn that round. We just need to find our small one. Now we might need it. Sorry, Jack. Didn't mean to give that to you. Uh, <laughs> we'll probably have to make a platform. In fact, we can put that up there on top. Let's sort our power out. All right. So if we get... Um, see, we've got loads of wind turbines wishing around. So let's have a look at getting them all on one storage. So let's put them on here. And put our sun on there as well. Our solar. More wind. And then we'll put our wind together. There's another wind turbine wishing around there. Lovely. All right, what else have we got? So we've got a starter platform. We've got a medium turbine. There's uh, another printer. Uh, more solars. Okay, so let's put them all together up here. Oh, another solar. Nice. Ooh, battery. Cool. So we put our little power packs all together in one spot. Ta-da! Now, we might need another platform. We'll put some solars on it. Uh, but we need to kind of get some more resin. Oh, we've got three resin there. Tell you what, I'm going to print another platform, Jack, for our sun. Boop. There we go. we got enough power. 
got battery power, there's our buggies. So we're going to pick a spot where we're going to dig down underneath to those caves. So we'll probably pick it about here. So what I'm going to try and do is try and get a flat surface. So we get a nice 45 degree ramp. Now, usually I would require a narrow mod. So I'm going to try my best to get what I can with what we've got. Oh, that looks pretty good. It's not perfect, but that'll be our start. Now we can edit our ramp. Oh, it might be a bit too steep. We can edit our ramp as we go. And the best way to do this, to be honest, it would be to use a paver and use a drill. But we're not at that point yet, so we're just gonna just gonna do it by hand. Now we're gonna need some fur I need said feathers. <laughs> We're gonna need some tethers. Right, that platform's now built. Let's put our wind on there. Uh, let's start a platform. There we go. So let's get our solars going. Oh, I need oxygen. Uh, whew, that would have been close. Now, if I do die and I respawn as a clone, I'm gonna end up back at the main habitat. So that's not what we want. Right, we do have some compound here, so let's grab that. And that's all the compound I think we have. I do have some soil, so we can spin for some. So let's go into our, our base here, throw some soil on our soil centrifuge, and let's get ourselves eight compound. Bam, there we go, eight compound. Let's make some tethers, because we're going to need quite a few if we're heading down to the mushroom biome. Now a couple of things that would help us get down to there really quick is mods on our tool. So they would be a boost mod and a wide mod and they would be able to uh, help us excavate the soil at a much quicker rate. But uh, yeah, we don't have those unlocked yet. We don't have the bites, but hopefully we can get to that point today. But right now my main focus is making a nice big ramp all the way down to my favorite biome and that's the mushroom biome and you can tell the mushroom biome it is uh, <laughs> uh oh Jack, I fell. um it is it, it's it's magical it is amazing all right let me just <laughs> I fell down I fell buddy right here we go right i'm gonna wiggle 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 that's the best and quickest way to get up a ramp is to wiggle your butt Wiggle your little space butt. All right, let's put a tether down there. Let's go get some of this compound. Okay, let's make some tethers. There we go. Now I'm going to put my tethers down one particular side. There we go. Oh, pro tether in there. All right, okay, let's give that a bit more. Got the stand in. And we're going to just go straight down. Now this level of cave is the first level. There are many levels. Or many, many, many levels of this cave. Is what I'm trying to say. Jack, what are you doing? <laughs> so this cave level is very similar to the next cave level. And the one after that is the same. I don't know what Jack's doing. Jack is just really being funny at the moment he's wobbling so if i do the ramp jack do you want to take off the top section there we go it gives a bit more space so ideally what you want to do to travel between the cave levels once you've got a ramp is use a rover rover any size a buggy even a tractor uh oh bad tether in there let's get rid of this so again, this cave level is very similar, but it's a bit more open. And you'll find that as you go down to the cave levels, is that they open up a little bit more each time. So we're going to skip this one again. So you'll find the same sort of resources in the first three layers of caves. And they're usually compound, laterite, uh, I'll just grab that on the floor. Uh, compound, laterite, resin, quartz. Now you can just keep ramping down and you will find that 
at some point you will have to alter the angle of your ramp and that's because the plan is spherical so you'll start to kind of level out a bit and your ramp will become less steep as you go along so this is the third level and should be the final level of this type of cave so let's just excavate a bit out of the top put down another tether which just fell there we go and as you can see it starts to get a bit more open in these cave areas so the caves are quite higher and also you'll see and notice that the caves alter in levels so it's not as not as easy to traverse this isn't looking too bad okay but we're going to carry on going down because this is not where we want to be we want to be at the mushroom biome so let me just bring this down here so i can get back up drop a tether boop jack's still doing that wobble thing <laughs> Uh, let's remove this over the top, get rid of this overburden, and then carry on going down. So again, the cave will start to change in this next level, and you'll notice the change. Because the soil changes different colours, it also changes density as well. And we're, after this level, we're going to have to change the angle of our ramp, because as you can see, it's becoming less steep start to level off a bit uh, why it does when it does that you won't be able to kind of go down as much Let's just place that tether there right, here we go now you'll start to see the difference in this cave you'll start to see reds and that red is a big indicator that we're getting close to the mushroom biome ah, I'll just drop the tether down 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 we go and what this will do is it'll give us accessibility to loads of different resources there you go you can start seeing that red there over the other side so we are getting very very close now let's just have a look place down the tether there we go let's turn on our light actually that's going to help us see a little bit better so you'll see this red soil after the red soil you'll start seeing a pink soil and that pink soil is a lot more dense i think we're okay actually at the moment for keeping our angle for our ramp so we'll carry on going down but yeah definitely at some point we're gonna have to change it uh, another tether have i run out yes i've run out of tethers let's make some more poop there we go and we're getting closer soon we'll start to see giant mushrooms and that's when you know you're very close to the mushroom biome so we'll get down to the bottom level here this will be the last level before we hit the mushroom biome. Oopsies. Oopsie doopsies. Have you not got a canister, Jack? There you go, buddy. So you're going to need a canister if you're going to ramp. Is is vital. Canister is, for me, one of the most important pieces of equipment in the game. You can't do much without it. There we go. Uh, also, down when you get down to these levels... Ooh, there's a nasty gas plant down there. Let's try and dig it up. You'll see that the cave bites get a little bit more pricey. Oh, I only give us 38. Okay, that was not a great example. <laughs> Got some quartz there. to see that heavy red color now as a primary soil now it will take you about 10 minutes to ramp down like this to get down to the mushroom biome 
Mushroom biome isn't the last one. There is a couple of more cave levels below the mushroom biome. But here we go, we see this hard pink soil. So this is strength to soil. It's not the hardest, but you can get through it without a drill. Just takes a little bit more persuasion. So here we go, I am ready. Are you ready? This is a magical, if you've never seen this biome before, you've got to go see it, it is beautiful. A lot of effort went into making this. It's just so magical, it's a magical place. It's amazing. Let's just push through this pink soil. Come on. Wish I had a drill. This would make life so much easier. Right, I'll ramp this bit now. You should start to get through very soon. We can't be far. Alright, we're going to need some more tethers. As we run out, let's throw that quartz away. Our ramp is starting to kind of straighten out a bit, which we need to tackle very shortly. So we've got to keep going, keep pushing through. We should be, we're nearly there, we're so close. So, so close. But in the mushroom biome, what's magical about it is it you can find those resources that you struggle to find on the surface. One of those is Malachite. Now I know a lot of people struggle to find it because it can only be found in the mountainous areas and there's not much of it. Well, that is a thing of the past. We're about to find loads of it down here. And this is where I get my main source of Malachite. You can also find Graphite down here. Again, another resource which isn't abundant on the surface, but you can find it in quite a few places more than the Malachite. So if you need copper, this is the place to go. Also, ammonium. Ammonium is abundant down here. There's tons of it. So those three resources that you find on the surface, which can be a bit difficult to find, you can find down here. And this is why I like to go through to the cave levels, because you can find more resources and have great access to them. And if you build yourself a nice ramp, you can drive down here with a rover, go and pick loads of it up and bring it back to your base but oh wow this has taken quite a long time Ooh. we might nearly be there I've been saying it for the past few minutes we're nearly there we're nearly there but now we've got this soft soil on the other side is where we tend to come out the other end Come on, I want to see those sparkly, sparkly bits. Oh, I think I think we're just about to go through the the roof of the cave now. Get rid of this. This pink soil is really difficult. So yeah, if you're gonna do it, try and get a drill. That'll be best. So there's three different types of drills. All of them tackle the soil differently. There we go, there's our first mushroom! Woo! Finally! We made our way through. Right, we might have to alter our angle jack. Because as you can see, we're nowhere near as steep as we used to be. So I'm going to change the angle a little bit. Let's add. So let's say... Uh, let's say that piece there. We'll angle that down. Now we should be able to get down there. Nice and easy. <laughs> there we go. There it is. Ah, there's the magic on my friends. So we got our auto the ramp. Gonna head down now. Prepare your eyes because this place is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So you'll find these big, giant mushrooms, and uh, you'll start to see 
all the sparkly bits. I don't know if this is... Yes, it is. Sometimes you'll get like half a cave level. But no, we're here. We are here. No doubt about it. Right, okay. Last pack of tethers. Oh, that was a good guess on the amount of tethers. Now, I've run out of soil, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this red soil here, which is soft. I'm going to harvest some of that for our ramp. Lovely. It took us a wee while to get down here, but we are here now. Jack's making the ramp there. I'm just going to follow him some tethers. I'm going to wait till he runs out of soil. There you go, and I'm going to carry it on. We'll make our way down, but as I say, you'll find resources here that you can't find on the surface. It's easy. Ah, and I've ran out of soil. So again, let's just take some from the outer walls. These mushrooms are beautiful. Love them. Okay, place another tether. We're nearly at the base of this now. Now there is another layer just below this on the mushroom biome. And again, that's where you can find more malachite. But it doesn't have the mushrooms in it. It has some of the smaller mushrooms, but it doesn't have those giant mushroom trees that you can see in the distance over there. Come on. Reach the bottom. Almost so close. Take away that. There's loads of pop corals down here. You can find all sorts. So I think I think I think we're here. We've arrived. So let me just take that level there. Run that out. Get rid of this. And uh, yeah. Right, Jack. Did you want to run up to the top and bring a rover train down? with some storage and we will take some stuff back so Jack should be able to drive down nice and easy I'll make a flat section here and one of the biggest suggestions I'm going to say since I have a quartz on my back you can get lost very easy down here very very easy because the trees don't provide a nice clearing they will obscure your view and also you get these big chunks of soil in the way so one thing i always suggest is put down a beacon at the base of your ramp Boop. there we go and we're going to pour a purple one down no we're not because it's going to blend in we'll put uh we'll put a blue one down so now oh let's get some more oxygen take a deep breath and let's go explore this cave There we go, we've got plenty of oxygen, squeaky chair, be quiet, and here we're going to find loads of different resources. Now one I've just noticed, right there, is a mushroom research item, which is an organic one. These used to fetch quite a few thousand bites, they don't much, uh, what well, they don't anymore. Uh, I have to check when we go up how much it will uh, it'll fetch us, but you know, we'll leave it there and we can put it on the rover. I'm going to need to make more of a clearing actually because we've got a rover train so which has got four rovers so it's going to have to have the area to turn around so let's just flatten this off make a nice area for it right, let's dig up these pop corals remember safe distance away when you dig them up because they spit a toxic acidic gas cloud which will eat through your suit and uh, yeah, you will die. There we go, that's a nice nice area. You can hopefully turn around the rover there. So let's have a look. We've got some debris down here. There's a tier two generator, so we can take that back up. I need oxygen, I need oxygen, I need oxygen. <sighs> that was a close one. So we've got a tier two generator, there was some uh, carbon next to it, that's what that runs off 
We'll go through power in a episode real soon once we've got all our power stuff unlocked. Uh, there's another research item. We can take that back up. So we may as well start taking some stuff up to the surface, put it on our research chamber, and just start unlocking some bites. So the deeper you come down in the caves, now you will find research items like this, uh, the little research samples, but you won't find any rock ones. These are all on the organics, but these fetch quite a pretty penny. So smashing them is always great. As you can see there, we can't see the beacon. Your view gets obscured by all of what's down here. It's just so much. It's such a dense area. But let's have a look and see if we can find some of those resources I was talking about. So the main one is Malachite. That's what people struggle with. I'm suffocating again. The gravity is quite low here. Oh, please don't die. Please don't die. Get to the tethers quickly. Ooh. <laughs> okay, I was lucky. I mean, I've got I've got two more tethers there. You can see there's some laterite just in the wall there, so you can find laterite down here. But we are looking for malachite, so let's let's have a look. We've got some oxygen. All right, there's some more laterite just there. Let's. Oh no! Oh dear! I thought they were pop corals. Uh oh, spaghettios. <laughs> um, Jack! <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Okay, so that's my first death. I'm going to run back towards where the gateway is. Oh, you silly, silly boy. Okay, well, as lucky I left that filter there, I'm going to make my way back. So, I know that we went this way, we were going west. Uh, huh! So, I'll make my way back to the gateway. It's just over here. It's not too far. <laughs> oh, no. no. Uh, so, they were a plant called dagger root. Dagger roots are nasty plants, and they will just chew you up uh, and spit you out. So, um, yeah, I just got spiked. So let's get some resin. We can survive. There's the gateway there. So, we're not too far. We've got enough. Oh, wow. So that is the first death within the series. Plus one. Ah, uh, If we were on Twitch, you could use your plus one emotes, but I'm going to put one down in the bottom corner right there just to indicate of how much of a fool I am. Okay, so Jack should be making his way. Oh, there's another filter there. I'll grab that one. Jack will be making his way down with the rover. I'm going to slide down there and, uh, yeah, go meet him at the bottom. So, yeah, just be aware, the mushroom biome may be pretty, may be magical, but it's also deadly. Oh dear, oh dear. Ooh! Solar. Nice. Or at least I'm getting some stuff anyway. <laughs> okay, there's another filter there, but I don't need it. Let's make our way through this forest. And we should be... Oh, hello. There's a wind turbine. And a small wind turbine. Nice. Grabbing more free stuff on the way. Ah, oh, there we go. Silver lining to my demise. Oh, let's grab that. Hello, base. Yes, I died. We'll leave that filter there. We'll put those on there. <laughs> silly, silly boy. Right, down our ramp we go. woo -hoo! So Jack should be down here, and we're going to blast our way through all these caves. We'll be there in no time. Uh, there's the quartz. We'll snap that on our backpack. We'll slow down. There we go. And there's Jack. Hey, buddy. Skrrr. Oh, nice. You just brought two. Hey, Reginald. <laughs> uh, what do you mean? No, it's not funny I died, Reginald. Stop laughing. Stop laughing. You're so mean, Reginald. So mean. Anyway, my dead body's over here. So let's just... See, I thought these were all pop corals, but they're not. Uh, I nearly killed myself again. <laughs> Remember that tip I was saying? Make sure you stay away from the pop corals because they contain an acidic gas. Yeah, and yeah, I don't forget about that. Alright, let's dig up these dagger roots. 
so I can get my stuff. Uh, these dagger roots will drop seeds, they will also drop the dragon tails, uh, so you can get some research off them. There's my body. Let me just grab my stuff. There we go, let there be light. Oh, what a, what a silly fool I was. Okay, let's grab that. Okay, lovely. So, the problem I'm having is it should have an oxygen tank. Hmm, maybe that would have been wise to unlock that, but I, we haven't got the bikes for it. Ooh, look, first resource there, ammonium. It's up in the ceiling. So, should we grab some of that, Jack? Okay, so we'll grab this stuff here. It's all in the ceiling. It might poop out. Jack will catch it. Jack likes catching all the poop. <laughs> but one thing that's different down here is as you get towards the core, you'll notice that gravity changes. So you can bounce around a lot more. You can see you float. Float a little bit. So it's always a cool little place just to have some fun. But doesn't mean that gravity is not going to kill you. There we go, pooped that one there. Okay, so we've got a bit of ammonium. That was just in the, in the top. Let's get rid of those floaters. Don't like floaters. Uh, let's put this stuff on there. Let's get all this stored. Store that. I'm going to build a filter, I think. Okay, so let me build a filter. Right, so let's go look for Malachite. I said Malachite is nice and easy to find. And I'm stuck in a mushroom. Uh, and it, it, it is. You just got to go search for it a bit. So you're looking for that greeny brown crystal looking resource. So again, I don't want to go too far because you get lost really easily. Now, the cave below this is probably the best one to find these resources that I'm talking about. Because you don't have all of this stuff in your way. So we might actually go down to the next level to find it. There we go. We found a nice deposit of ammonium. Ooh, yeah. Let's grab all this ammonium. It's a pain to find on the surface. It's only found in those forest biome areas discussed before but down here you'll find large deposits of it there we go we're absolutely full so let's take this back we can see our beacon over there oh there's a gas plant but yeah i think i think we're gonna go down one more cave layer all right let's put that ammonium on there so if you look for ammonium this is the place to find it And especially since it's one of the most used resources in the game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a ramp. And we're only going down one cave layer. And this cave layer is quite shallow. But it doesn't have all this stuff in the way. we just got to punch through this hard pink soil. Once we get through there, we've got a nice layer. Village. It shouldn't be. Too, it shouldn't be too far off. Now you can miss this layer, just like any of the other layers, if you just go through solid soil. What I'm going to do is I'm going to punch a hole actually, straight down, just to make sure that that cave layer is here. There we go. Soft soil. Soft soil. I don't want to miss it. Ooh, wow, look at that. Check that out. Come on. Come on. Because if I go too far, I'll know if I go too far because I'll start seeing this green and yellow soil, which is really hard soil. Strength two and three. And that is an indication that I've gone too far. It shouldn't be this deep. Should have hit it already. Oh, I need oxygen. Oh no! Not again! 
<laughs> oh, twice. Of, well, if I'm going to die multiple times, it may as well be in the same video. Uh, right, I've got to head back. <laughs> that is not productive. It is not productive. So again, there's no cuts in these videos, so yeah, you're going to have to deal with me running all the way back. Right, so we, we got there on one and a half filters, so let's grab two resin. Oh, what a silly, silly boy. I really, I really should have my game sounds end up. You silly boy. Right, okay. Heading west again. Should be nice and neat. There's the gateway there. So we're just going to head straight there. As the crow flies. Straight towards it. Ah. Uh, twice in one. Usually, I mean, I've been proud of myself. We got to episode five before I died. That was like four hours. <laughs> but it was inevitable. It was going to happen. But we're on clone number three. Oh, boy. He's so silly. Such a silly. Right. So I want to make it down to this cave layer. And once you've got your cave, you should be nice and good to collect all your resources. But I really want to get there. Right. In fact, I've got a thousand bites. What does that mean? Well, that means I'm going to make a canister. And I'm going to make two drills. So let me just fill this canister up a little bit. Because I'm going to need clay. Because that's the first drill we're going to be unlocking. That should be enough for some clay. Alright, let's go over to our sort of centrifuge. Let's get some clay. We're going to unlock the drill. And that's going to help us. You know, let's speed this process up, yeah? Let's get it going. Now let's take two of those. Alright, clay, please. There we go, it'll give us two clay. That is going to be smashed into ceramic. And that is what we need for the first drill. A thousand bites, bam, done. So me and Jack should be able to cut through it a lot easier and a lot quicker. Come on. Come on. Spinny, spin, spin, spin. So we spin the clay, throw it on the furnace. The furnace will turn it into ceramic. And then we can craft it on our backpack. Where is it? There it is. Drill mod number one. Now the drills, the thing about the drills I'm going to be showing you as we go further on in the game. Once we unlock, let's turn that on, that'll help. Um, once we get to drill number three, which requires diamond, I'm going to talk to you about the drills and the differences in them. Um, one of the differences right now that I'm going to talk about is the fact that they use different amounts of power. So the higher the strength of drill, so the higher tier, the stronger and um, more power it will require. So right now we're using the weakest drill. So it doesn't... Hey! We've run out of power. We've run out of power. Right, so let's turn that generator on. There we go. Let's make a drill. Mods always go on your terrain tool. Just as an FYI. Go, pop that on there. Come on, come on. Hopefully there's enough on there for it to do this ceramic. And we can take that down to Jack and then we can get down to that other cave layer. Come on. I've got a funny feeling that as I was digging we might have missed it. I think we missed that. A little cave layer underneath. And it's easy to miss. It really is easy to miss. Woohoo! Let's go! Let's make some tethers on the way. More tethers. Let's slow it down because the angle's going to change. Down we go. Hey, Betty! 
Got you a gift. Where is he? Oh, he's still on the rover. Jack, here you go, dude. A drill mod for you. Right. Let's tether down. And you'll see the difference in the drill mod because it'll just chew through. Oh, I need some soil. It'll just chew through uh, this really easily. There you go. It's not struggling. You don't see the sparks. This is perfect for this soil. Right, I need to find this cave layer. It's paramount that we find it. So yeah, when I was digging that tunnel, I was kind of going straight forward. I need to get my body back, I understand that. But I'll do that in a minute. I busy. I too busy. get down to this next layer. Come on. You're here somewhere. I think we found it. Yes! There we go. So you'll still get those mushrooms as I talked about before. But you won't see the big mushroom trees and already I can see the malachite. I can see the copper. So let me just change the angle ever so slightly so we can get down there a bit better. There we go. That'll do. This place is full of malachite. Now, as I say, you can miss this cave layer. It is only a short one. So you just got to be... Ah, uh, right out of soil. You just got to be super careful that you don't miss it. But it's not... It's not very big at all. So Jack's making his way down there. And let me just take over this overburden from the top. Take a nice flat area from here. Merge that together. But well, now you start to see this green soil I was talking about. And that's when you know you're getting near to the core. But there we go. There's malachite. There's loads of it down here. There's also sulfurite that we can see in the ceiling. So, Jack, do you want to bring down... In fact, I'll go get it, dude, if you want to start digging that up. Because I've got to go get my body. We'll bring down the rover. And we get loads of copper. I'll just take off this top bit here so we can get the rover down nicely. We'll grab what we can and then we'll head up to the top. Well, from this episode, I hope you understand of how to ramp down to the layers of different caves, what the different caves offer, and how to find those more. Uh, uh, those those not so abundant resources on the surface down here and that's what this is all about is getting the stuff that you don't find as much on the surface so I'll grab my body there we go wiggle 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 we'll come down here and grab a load of this copper and then we're gonna head up to the base boop, boop. So we've got some ammonium there, which is going to help us out when it comes to hydrazine. Let's let's nicely get this rover down here. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. You can squeeze. Squeeze. Get in there. There it comes. Oh, and again, as you go further down, gravity takes its toll. As it just did with the rover then. We're going to have to make a turnaround point here. So what I'm going to do is just etch out this section. Just so we can turn the rover around. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Let's move this over here a bit. Reverse it back. Come on. Oh, we need a better turnaround point. Okay, I need to widen this out. Because I can't turn the rover around. Get rid 
of these. A floater, a couple more floaters. Get rid of those. But yeah, the deeper you go down, gravity will start to change. Oh, oh come on. Come on. Uh, for some reason it's stuck. It's stuck. There we go. Unstick it. I'm not doing very good at turning this rope around, am I? <laughs> it needs a big turn circle. Okay. So Jack's grabbing a load of that malachite right now. Let's see, there's loads of it down here. We've only just got to this section. Already there's loads of it. Waggle that round. Oopsies. Oops. Do you know what, since I'm having a tough time turning around, what I'm going to do is uh, cheat a bit. I'm going to... Hold on Jack, sorry buddy. I'm going to put that on there and um, drive it the other way. Whoa, there's loads of it. Absolutely loads. So there you go, so if you have Malachite problems, you have them no more. You can grab an absolute ton of it. Down here. Just below the mushroom biome. Look at all this. <laughs> That's on the front. Now what else can you find down here? Well you can get your ammonium deposits as well. Get yourself right. There's all sorts down here. But uh, yeah, your main ones. You'll start to find graphite in this green area. And you'll only find it in this green area. Usually you'll find it in the next cave down. But again, once you get down here your gravity is a lot less so you float quite a bit but we're going to head back we're going to head up to the top take our stuff back to the base oh oh let's turn this round go the other way now the controls are reversed because everything else is reversed, so that's not going to help. Oh, come on. Play ball. There we go. Oh. Oh, the controls are reversed. <laughs> oh, dear. Right. It won't turn. It just won't turn. There we go. Turn. Yay! And away we go. Finally. Oh, we're out of power. Uh oh. Um. We need a push, Jack. <laughs> okay, we've run out of power. There's no wind now. The best, the best kind of the power down here is wind power. But uh, have we got a generator? Do we? Yes, there's a Jenny. Okay. Boop. There we go. We can move again now. So let's get up there. Oh, we're stuck. Oh, it's sliding. It's sliding. Oh, reverse controls are not fun. <laughs> Alright, let's get up to the top here. Once we're up at the top, I can turn the rope around. I'm just dinking off every side here. Oh dear. Come on. Ugh. Five steps forward. Ten back. Come on. Yay! Freedom! Almost. Sort of. Right. Let's turn it round. Let's turn this big boy round. Come on. My driving skills aren't the best. There we go. Oops. Oops. 
Uh, hold on. Hold on a minute. Let's get rid of these rocks. I mean, let's just get rid of this big tree. Timber! Come on, you gotta go. It should disappear. Any second. Come on. Is this not gonna this? It's not gonna disappear, is it? Oh man, come on! There we go. Timber. There goes a big mushroom tree, and it should despawn. There we go. Nice. Okay, I am, however, gonna get a snap. There we go. Let's go, Jack. Back to the surface. We'll get this stuff smelted. And then we're all good. Hey, Reginald. Did you enjoy the mushroom biome, buddy? Yeah, you did. Let's slow down here. Oof. Oh, wait. Oof. Might have to dig us out. Go. Oh, Jack's now driving. <laughs> there we go. Jack's back in. Cool. So we can drive straight up to the surface and we're going to take this hall that we've got. We'll put the research on the research chamber and we'll get all this stuff smelted. But yeah. You should now know the best places to get the rest of your stuff, such as ammonium and malachite. And graphite. Well, the graphite we'll look next time, because next time we come back, we'll be going to the core. And we'll also be upgrading... Ah, oh, there's a floater. We'll also be upgrading our base. So, we'll be getting ready for platforms. Wee-hoo! Home sweet home. Well, here we are with our nice haul from the mushroom biome. Nice! So we can get this smelted. Let's get this mushroom. Let's check, actually, uh, this mushroom, how much it gives us. So let's say, this used to give us a couple of thousand. Now it gives us 675, which is pretty lame. But do you know what? It's better than nothing. Well, there we go. Loads of malachite. Now, you don't have to worry on where you're going to find your next hole from. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to get all this smelted, get all this organised. Especially with all the stuff that we've got here. But for now, it's time to say goodbye. Yes, this has been episode number five. And I hope you found this helpful. So thank you very much for joining me. And I hope you enjoy roaming around the beautiful mushroom biome in the future. And a big thank you to my good friend Jack and Reginald who come along for the ride. Yes, Reginald, you're still on the rover. But as always, I've been Zelly. You've been amazing. We've been Brozelly Game. And don't forget to leave a comment below, smash that like button and subscribe if you're new. This is the best place to find all you need to become an awesome astroneer and I hope you enjoy the rest of the series and if you've missed some you can head back as there's going to be a playlist right at the end of this video that you can tap and catch up on but for now it's a ciao thank you very much for watching me bye